Hey, if you've got a Cricut or Silhouette, let me show you how to make the best baby present. It's the best because parents and kids love it. Kids love it because it's a soft, squishy stuffed animal. Parents love it because it's got the baby stats right here in the ear. The other side has room for a name and initial, making this a great gift and a keepsake. I've got this cut file on my website for free, making it easy to customize and personalize your gift. And I've also got these adorable gift tags that are great for any baby gift, but especially this one because there's cute little elephants on it. Come on, I'll show you how. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe down below and hit that like button. Here's what you're going to need for supplies. You need a plush elephant. I'll put a link down in the description box for the elephant I've got on Amazon. You need heat transfer vinyl. Caesar Easy Weed is my absolute favorite. You need a Cricut mini heat press or an iron, parchment paper, a ruler or measuring tape, a Cricut or Silhouette, which isn't shown here, cutting mat, a weeding tool, and a Cricut heat pad or ironing board. Use the link in the description to find the free SVG cut file and upload it to Cricut Design Space. If you aren't sure how to do this, there's also a link for a video that will walk you through the process. Once you have it uploaded, click on it and press Add to Canvas in the lower right. Once it loads, click the image and then press the Ungroup button on the upper right of the screen. This separates each of the elements of the image so you can edit them individually. For the elephant's right ear, add in the baby's information to the design. All you have to do is click text on the left to add a text box and type in the info for each section. Use the font option at the top of the screen to play around with fonts until you like the look of it. And then use that same font for each section. I used Cricut Sans for my font. For the left ear, I clicked on the word text on the left hand side and typed the first initial of the baby's name. I changed that font to high tower text. Then I clicked the text option again to add her full name. Once again, I looked at different fonts until I found one I liked, which was Abaya. I centered the full name on top of the initial. Along the way, I changed the colors in my design so that Design Space could place the right parts of the design on the right mats for the cutting process. Now you're going to want to use a ruler or measuring tape to determine how big to make your cut design. I cut my right ear design at 1.74 inches wide by 2.55 inches tall. The left ear I made at 1.75 inches wide by 1.86 inches tall, although these measurements might be different depending on how long the name you're using is. Select the entire design for one ear and change the measurements so the design will fit. Do this by going to the top of the screen where you will see a section labeled Size. Within this section are two boxes, the width of the design, W, and the height, H. These boxes will be automatically set to change proportionally to each other. This means if you change the width, it will also change the height and vice versa to keep the design to the same proportions. If you want to make it wider but not taller, etc., just click the little padlock above it, which will unlock the measurements. Now when you change one of the measurements, the other will stay the same. Once it's the right size, move the feet and heart part of the design out of the way, select all of your baby stats, and click the Combine and then the Weld option on the right. This groups the items together so they will cut out exactly how you see them on the canvas. Instead of as separate items, you would have to manually move around to iron on. Now click Make It from the upper right hand corner of Design Space. This next part is very important and easy to forget, and trust me, you do not want to forget. In each of the sections for the different colors of HTV on the left side of the screen, you're going to want to click the Mirror button. If you don't mirror your design, the letters will be backwards when you iron them on. Now click the green Continue button on the lower right side. If you're using the Caesar Easy Weed HTV, my machine cuts best if I select everyday iron on and then change the pressure to more instead of default. Get your heat transfer vinyl aka HTV ready by placing it shiny side down on a regular green mat. 
Once the arrow light is flashing on your Cricut, insert your mat with the HTV on it under the rollers and press the flashing light. The machine will roll the mat in and the C Cricut button will begin to flash. Go ahead and press it and wait for the magic to happen. Once it cuts your design, you can remove the mat by pressing the arrow button again. Then use your weeding tool to remove the sections of HTV that you don't want, like the background and the centers of letters. Now you're left with your design stuck to the back of the clear plastic carrier sheet. Now all that's left to do is iron it onto your elephant. I really love using the Cricut Easy Press Mini for this. That little press heats up fast and lets you have a lot of control over where you're heating. It's perfect for small iron-on projects like this. I set it on the second heat setting. If you don't have an Easy Press Mini, you can also use a home iron. According to the Caesar HTV website, use it with no steam, set it between polyester and wool settings, and use a piece of parchment paper on top of the carrier sheet. Now, place your elephant onto a heat safe surface, such as a Cricut Easy Press mat or an ironing board. Put your HTV design onto the elephant's ear and center it up so it looks nice. Place the heated up Easy Press on the top of the clear plastic HTV carrier sheet and slowly move it around on the design. Since you are layering colors of HTV, just leave it on long enough for the vinyl to release from the carrier sheet. Don't leave it in any one place for more than a few seconds because it will do the job quickly and if you leave it on too long, it will melt your HTV. Once you think you've heated the entire design, slowly peel up a corner of the carrier sheet. If your HTV has transferred to your elephant, continue peeling it off. If any parts are not yet transferred, replace the carrier sheet and heat it some more before peeling it off again. Repeat with your second color of HTV. To make sure it's all securely ironed on, I place a piece of parchment paper on top of the design and iron over the entire thing one more time. I know I've got it completely done when I can faintly see the pattern of my fabric through the HTV. Now be amazed at the fantastically personalized baby gift you've finished. To add the perfect final touch, Use the link in the description box below to find a free, adorable gift tag to add to your package. Happy crafting!